Hello students, today we are going to solve the question paper of JE Main 2014 offline mode which was conducted today that is on 6th April 2014. So let's start with code G maths paper question number 1. If x equals minus 1 and x equals 2 are extreme points of the function fx equals alpha log mod x plus beta x square plus x then we have to find the values of alpha and beta. This question is quite simple. It is talking about extreme points. So start by differentiating the function fx and then substitute the values of x as minus 1 and 2 as these are the extreme points. Fine. So differentiating the function we get f dash x equals alpha upon x log mod x it is defined for every real x except 0 the derivative is simply 1 by x plus 2 beta x plus 1 this derivative will be 0 at x equals minus 1 and x equals 2 substituting we get on substituting minus 1, we are obtaining minus alpha minus 2 beta plus 1 equals 0 or alpha plus 2 beta equals 1 as the first equation. On substituting 2 in place of x, we get alpha by 2 plus 4 beta plus 1 equals 0. Simplifying, we have alpha plus 8 beta is equal to minus 2 as the second equation. On solving 1 and 2, simply by subtracting, we get from 1 and 2. Right. The sign is for this equation 1 and 2, alpha is cancelled out. We are getting minus 6 beta is equal to 3 or in turn beta equals minus half. Substitute this value of beta in equation 1, we get alpha minus 1 equals 1 that is alpha is equal to 2. So, on selecting from the options, we simply obtain answer 2 as the correct answer. Fine. So, option 2 is correct. Let us move to the second question of this paper. Okay, let us go for question number 2. The locus of the foot of the perpendicular drawn from the center of the ellipse x square plus 3y square equals 6 on any tangent to it is given by, there are 4 options given. Fine, the question is talking about locus. Okay, equation of ellipse is given to me as x square plus 3y square equals 6. We can rewrite it as x square by 6 plus y square by 2 equals 1. Fine. Now, equation of tangent, we can start it by taking either in the parametric form or in terms of the slope m. I am starting with slope m. A tangent to it is y equals mx. We can take plus minus root a square m square plus b square, where a square is 6 and b square is 2. Root 6m square plus 2. This is the equation of tangent in terms of slope m. Now, the question is talking about foot of the perpendicular.
let us say this is a general point, this is the equation of tangent in slope m, we drop a perpendicular from the center, here comes the foot of the perpendicular, let us say this be p, fine, this is origin x axis y axis. The question is locus of foot of the perpendicular from origin. We know the slope of this tangent as m, we can write the slope of line op. Therefore, the equation of op y equals minus 1 by m into x. If I consider this point as h comma k, I can say this is passing through h k. In place of x and y, we will get h and k. Similarly, here we can write h and k in place of x and y or we can carry as it is in terms of x and y because these variables will not be involved with any other one. So, writing m from here minus x upon y and substitute it in say equation number 1. On substituting this value of y, we observe y equals minus x square upon y plus minus root of 6 x square by y square plus 2. Take this part on LHS, square up both sides, we obtain x square plus y square whole square equals 6 x square plus 2 y square as the required locus. Now, choosing from the given options, we find x square plus y square whole square equals 6 x square plus 2 y square is the second option. So, we can write that option 2 is correct. So, this is clear. Okay, let us move to question number 3. Okay, let us start with question number 3. Let f x with lower suffix k equals 1 by k times sin x to the power k plus cos x whole to the power k, where x is a real number and k is greater than equal to 1 then we have to find the value of f x when k is 4 minus f x when k is 6, 4 options are given. So, quite simple one, simply we need to put k as 4 and 6 and subtract the two obtained values by simplifying using some trigonometry. So, starting it f 4 x minus f 6 x equals Substituting k equals 4 in the given function, we get 1 by 4 times sin 4 x plus cos 4 x minus. Now, substituting k as 6, 1 by 6 times sin 6 x plus cos 6 x. Correct. Now, since the powers are small and even, we can change to power 2 using sin square x plus cos square x whole square minus twice of sin square x cos square x. Similarly, applying here cubing term, fine. So, starting it that way, 1 by 4 times sin square x plus cos square x whole square minus twice of sin square x cos square x minus 1 by 6 times sin square x plus cos square x whole cube minus thrice of sin square x into cos square x. This is 1. So, we get 1 by 4 times 1 minus twice of sin square x cos square x in the first bracket. Similarly, 
वन बाय सिक्स टाइम्स वन माइनस थ्राइस ऑफ साइन स्क्वायर एक्स कॉस स्क्वायर एक्स इन द सेकेंड ब्रैकेट वी ऑब्जर्व दैट वन बाय टू साइन स्क्वायर एक्स कॉस स्क्वायर एक्स इज कैंसल्ड आउट सो वी आर लेफ्ट विथ सिंपली वन बाय फोर माइनस वन बाय सिक्स करेक्ट टेकिंग एल सी एम वी ऑप्टेन रिजल्ट एज वन बाय ट्वेल्व सो चूजिंग फ्रॉम द गिवन ऑप्शन वी फाइंड ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री इज करेक्ट दे आर फोर ऑप्शन थ्री इज करेक्ट सो दिस थिंग इज क्वाइट इजी क्लियर सो लेट्स मूव टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर 